Miroslav, thanks for uh, receiving us here at the Yale Divinity School um, uh, at Yale University, New Haven. Um, you're a professor here for faith and culture. Um, to introduce you to the audience of uh, the Nexus Institute, uh, where do you come from and why have you chosen to become a theologian? I was born in what was then Yugoslavia and I was born, born to a man who was a minister and most of our life revolved around faith and the life of a small community and I promptly rebelled when I was about 13 years of age and then discovered uh, faith in the 16, when I was 16 and from then on um, couldn't quite help myself but think through the basic issues of faith which are the basic issues of human existence and by the way at that time in Yugoslavia being a theologian was really cool <laughs> it was something that had to do with not just my existence but also that had to do with the opposition to the reigning uh, regime uh, and we thought we were doing something uh, countercultural and something on which the future, not only of our lives, but on, of our country and on the world, depends. Okay. Um, now, we live in a time in which uh, um, a vast majority of people um, will realize that uh, to save the world, um, yes, we have science and there's technology. Uh, and politics can play a role, uh, and international law will play a role. But what is it that theology has to offer to the world? Well, theology is about, in many ways, uh, a reflection on the nature of human existence, nature of human, uh, the problem of human, uh, human existence, and um, uh, theology can attend to questions of uh, global issues of justice, but what theology also does is it zeroes in on the deep recesses of human heart and human desire uh, and um, tries to examine who we as human beings are as connected to what is it that we identify with, project ourselves into, how the dynamics of our desire and desire functions. And I think that we can't save the world unless we save the desire of each of human human beings. And theology has very much uh, something to say about this. But then what's the difference between uh, 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 philosophy, psychology, uh, social sciences and theology? Because theology, at least Christian theology, th thematizes um, the world and human beings, not just in themselves, or it thematizes them as themselves only as they are related to something that's beyond the boundary, boundary of this world, that's beyond, beyond the boundary of their existence. In other words, it thematizes human beings as fundamentally uh, related to transcendence, so that the world is not just cosmos, the world is creation. The world is a gift and therefore always more than what appears uh, to our senses. Uh, in the world there's always more, it's always the case that more than the world is the case, to quote Slaughter uh, comment about uh, uh, secularism. Right? This, this is uh, what theology brings to our attention in our own lives. We are always more than just ourselves. We live eccentric uh, existence. And this reference of the entire world and human beings to transcendence is fundamental to us. And I think if we do not think of human beings in those terms, we cannot understand who human beings are, we cannot understand what the problem of human existence is, and we cannot certainly uh, imagine uh, how salvation might, uh, might look like.